Let's look at you. Right, you'll survive it. Maybe. And you are? I'm a breaker. My name is Thram. And I was not expecting a messenger from this place. The Inquisitor wants to be a Reaver. <laughs> Your title is Breaker? What is that? It's a name. It serves. You will become a Reaver, or you will break. This is not a road for those who worry about what others think. You want power? Admit it. You've battles to win. If you give a toss about opinion, you can write your own history. After you win. Let's not waste time. You've dragons to conquer, infusions to make, and blood to drink. Dragons are involved? Dragons are the heart of it. The beating heart. We take of the dragon and become more than a mortal with a sword. We become a conduit to power. But we're not mages. Demons reach through but find no purchase. They're a slave to the blade. Your blade. What do you mean by blood? I meant what I said. And it was meant to stop you cold. This way begins and ends with dragon blood. Blood is life. Life is power. It's that simple. Reavers know it. Blood mages know it. All others can debate it in the next world. What will this allow me to do? Win. Not just victory, but bloody victory. The withering of your enemies will empower. The more they think they prevail, the more you bleed, the more you triumph. You wish to inspire? Inspire terror. It seems like there's a lot of risk to this. There's no risk, there's a promise. If you do this, you will change. There is no retirement from this life. But unlike the Grey Warden or the Templar, you don't wither. You'll die when you fail. Until then, glory. Right, tell me how it begins. Very well. There is instruction, there are steps. At the end, there is choice. I look forward to what you become, Inquisitor. Herald, I hear you wish training so you don't embarrass those sworn to you. I'm summoned to offer instruction in the physical aspect of the Templar. I'm Sir. Sir what? Sir. Our time is brief, Herald. I trust you are serious. My general has not given glowing reports of Templar life. Yet here you are. Do you search for higher meaning behind such doubts? I don't teach that. The Order. Faith is not where Templar abilities come from. Faith is how Templars endure their abilities. I teach how to deny magics. Not fight, not match. Deny. And that lies in Lyrium. You will construct a filter, you will suffer its effects, and you will be worthy of inspiration. How you endure will be your own affair. This filter, describe it. It is a simple box or an ornate one. It has simple tools or bejeweled. Depends on what you need. You will use it to prepare the daily draft of Lyrium that allows the denial of magic. No one else can do this for you. Soon you won't know you're doing it. It will be a part of you. What is it that I will endure? I know what my general is going through. Inside you, there is something you don't know you possess. Becoming a Templar will make you keenly aware. You will feel empowered. It is joyous, but once you are accustomed, that something will get hungry. You have never felt this. The Order fights it with brotherhood. I don't know what a Herald has. I'm not that involved in the Faith side of things. I don't quote the Chant of Light. Know it or don't, it has proven useful to many, but it has failed some too. Whatever you need, keep it dear. All right, tell me what the benefits are. Magic was meant to serve man. This is ensured through the muscle and will of Templars. We deny the mage his magic. We deny the demon its magic. We are the beacon of right on the battlefield. The benefits, Herald, the benefit is control. Very well, sir. I'm ready to learn. They all say that. Here. Know that this is merely an introduction. The steps are simple. Kill, learn, construct. If you do not pray, Inquisitor, I recommend starting, if only to drown the filter's call.
Inquisitor, imagine the frothing of the minstrels dreaming of this meeting. Frantic. I, of course, am Lord Chancellor de Lyon, and I am here to aid your ascension to glory in the arts of the people. I shall make you a champion. You can make me a champion? That seems hollow. Well noted. I can put you through the motions, but this is a way of thinking. Champion is about being a leader while also being known, respected. There are formalities, of course. Procedures, pish and tosh. All superseded as you already lead a nation. Once you set and have your standard, you shall command like you were born to it. <laughs> and of course you were. You mean a literal standard? Colors. Something for you to raise or the field, the tavern, the back house, wherever you wish. You could cut a square and claim a mere flag. But the Inquisition is no scow alerting bridges. It's a beacon. It's a final step. Symbolic. No drowning in gold to gain its strength or other tosh. There's always a cost. What's the risk? Ah, the dark future of all who live by the sword. If you needed a patron, I'd say be certain you choose wisely. Many a head has been lost for the faults of others. But you, you are your own authority. You already lead, and I dare say your current task has enough risk. So dangers of the future when you retire as favorite of the people? Are you allergic to silks? It's good to be champion. Is it similar to a knight or an Orlesian chevalier? We share a way of the field, and they can be useful. But those titles carry a certain reputation. Chevaliers are generally pricks in my experience. The people are less inclined to celebrate those backhanders. You want to be their champion. All right, Lord Chancellor, I'm ready to start. Of course you are. You already have. Mere formality awaits. There's a process, a few shows of ability to start them talking. But you'll take to it just fine. Remember, it's good to be champion. 